The boat's coming along. I've lowered the height of both rakes and built the deck framing. I'll cover both of those in another video. I've also been welding for an entire week. The top of the boat is about 95% welded. I still need to build the outboard mount, build a pocket for the spud, fabricate the hydraulic cylinder mounts, attach brackets for the wooden beams, and weld in the floor rails. I've also still got a few sheets of 3 16 plate. I'm going to weld those in right here underneath the board and batten, and I'll cover more details on that in another video. Then it will be ready to flip and sandblast. You may notice the lack of background noise. That's because I've got a power pole now. The generator is ready for a rebuild. At 5,000 hours it's developed a knock and has a lot of blow by when it gets warm. So now I'm going to take down the sub panel I was using and move the knack box and compressors over to the pole, reducing how much heavy cable I'll need to run. I'm very lucky to have received this 6 gauge cable from Doug the week before. I'm running it on a 70 amp breaker from the main panel to the RV sub panel. Which also feeds 30 amps to the tool trailer and a couple of extra 120 outlets. While moving the black compressor, I remember it had a hole in it from a few months ago. Why I haven't used it. Everything's moved over, the compressors have a roof, and the panel is wired up. It only took a few tools. No boom, this is good. Well, I'm gonna get back to work and enjoy not listening to the generator. Thanks for watching.